Hey guys, Addy here, and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. And of all places, this girl gets herself is the hospital. Mmm. Now I think her dad was right about a lot of things. Okay, they're here. The police. How long are they making us wait for? James. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I'm trying to figure that out. It's my fault. <sighs> this one. I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us, so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I, I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What about Damon? What about Sarah? What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this... I'm hoping... She'll finally see reason. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be 
sometime before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. I kind of want to hug him. Wait, why is Steph here? Oh, is she still here from, um... Hey. Steph. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I'm surprised Mikey's still here and they haven't sent him home. Is that Mikey's dad? I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. Okay, let's go in and I'm guessing this room is... All right then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? Chloe? I'm Chloe. You here to see Mikey? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Mikey's hurt, of course. But the doctors are saying it should heal up relatively quick. Quick and six Drew, weeks is kind of not quick. Maybe you heard. He's all set to go to Oregon State. Full ride for four years. Nice. That's awesome. Hold on. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Okay. Sure. Both of those boys have been acting a little... Well, guilty lately. Yeah, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? Don't know, sorry. You should ask Drew. Mm, I've already messed up a few things with them. I, I don't know. Uh, no. Sorry. This weekend was actually the first time I really hung out with them. That's all right. I appreciate that you've been keeping my boys company. Mikey said he feels a lot safer around you. He's been seeming a little scared these days. I think my work situations disappointed him. Both of them. Actually in different ways. Uh, sorry I'm laying all this on you. I've been trying to keep it light in there. That's okay. Uh, nice of you to listen. Do me a favor. Don't worry either of them with... Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's go in and find out. Enter. Oh, a little bear with a witch's hat. And meds, which I'm quite surprised they have in there. It's currently almost 1.30, yet the sun is setting. Chloe! Hey, you made it! Well, I was just down the hall, hey, but you know. How's your arm? What are you all doing? <laughs> hey. How's the arm, Mikey? I wish it was the other one. So I could draw and stuff. But other than that, it's just broken. Sweet hair, by the way. <laughs> I bet you could pull off Sailor Mercury. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. Why? What happened? Rachel was stabbed in the arm by Damon fucking Merrick. Yeah, 
That's not funny. Shit. You serious? Fuck that guy. It wasn't because of me, was it? Oh, no, dude. No. I should have been more careful. We have our own problems. No. Not at all. If, if anything, I... I should have thought about what happened with you guys before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. The whole thing makes me want to just... I swear, if I ever meet that shithead, <laughs> I'm gonna... What? What are you gonna do when you meet Damon Mary? Something terrible. Uh-huh. I am. Like... Karate battle or yell at him? <laughs> a karate battle. Challenge him to a karaoke battle? <laughs> yeah, that's how we settle things on the street, huh? Okay. Throw dice at him. Criticize his taste in film. Okay. Tell him about a band he's probably never heard of, but should have. Enough. Oh, I feel bad for Steph. Anyway, we're glad Rachel's okay. Oh, uh, you should hang out here till she wakes up. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Okay, so let's sign his cast. Hey. Because, you know, we've got to graffiti Can everything. Can I sign your cast? Yeah, definitely. Hmm, something nerdy. But not too nerdy. Okay, what are options? Arm or armor? Hell yeah, armor! There you go. Cool. That's awesome. Tell Rachel she's got to come to board game night soon. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, we have letters. Look at that. Michael. Well, I would like nice to ex for a change. express my deepest condolences of your injury. I strive to make Backwell a safe and welcoming place for all students. I realize now that I am many ways have failed to do that. I want you to know that the students and the faculty are rooting for your speedy recovery. Your absence will be felt by all here at Blackwell. I have made sure that your teachers are ready to accommodate any academic needs that you have. As for the matter that you were injured on Blackwell grounds, I can't help but feel personally responsible. I have begun to look for new security personnel, aka David. If there is anything I can do to make you feel more safe upon return, please do not hesitate to let me know. Sincerely, Ray Wells. Okay, we also have a note. Like he's entering into a cartoon contest. Aww. I hope he wins. Michael, success. I was able to get a medical extension for your entry to the Cascade Head Cartoon Contest. I think your superhero design are the perfect spokesperson for marine pr uh, preservation. I hope you rest. Hope a restful recovery, Miss Cole. Nice. I, I wish Chloe took her drawing places. Uh, Mikey doesn't want to talk, so let's talk Is to Steph. Is your shirt a fire cone? Uh, yeah? Sure. Why not? That's one of my favorite spells. From our tabletop game. You're thinking about tabletop right now? Why, of course. I had to hide our game from the nurse. She thinks it's negatively affecting my mood. Elamon's backed himself into a pretty tight spot this time. He might not make it. Wait a sec. Calamastia. She can join Elamon in battle. Maybe the two of us together could actually make it out alive. Wait. You're into this nerd shit too? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> totally. It's a game where I win if I make up crazy shit and act like a badass. So, yes. I hate to be such a game master about it, but I'm pretty sure Chloe's character died last time. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. 
Wait a sec. Didn't you have that anklet of reincarnation in your inventory? Uh, yeah. I totally did have that thing. Holy shit! So you can actually swoop in and save my ass. What do you say? Yeah, you bet. Maybe later. Okay, since this did really well in the last episode, well, the episode that this was on, we're gonna do it. So you, you had to save Elamon, right? We rejoin Elamon as he majestically soars over the traveler's path. He glances over his shoulder only to discover his pursuers are right behind him. Wait, you can fly? I'm a wizard. Plus, I kind of have to since you cut my feet off last time. So sorry. Oh, <laughs> shit. I, I forgot I did that. Sorry. It's cool. You wouldn't want to fly Elamon everywhere. Elamon comes around a corner to discover... Calamastia, the elf barbarian, sitting by a fire, roasting squirrels. Sup? 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 I'm running from Dragonkin because of you. Remember when we <laughs> killed that jailer and took his key to free the prisoners in the prison camp? <laughs> Turns out you offended their entire clan. And they're after me now. No, I in team and need a hand. Well, I, I think that was really more of a team effort. You mean when you told that dragonkin that you'd skin him, make a handbag from his flesh, and then carry him around in it? Yeah, that was really a team effort. <laughs> well, that was... You did manage to inflict an insane amount of damage on... everything. Suddenly, <laughs> dragonkin scouts rush in, clawing you while your backs are turned. Take four damage. Man, You're we could have done something instead of what talk. What do you want to do? Okay, we can do a spinning slash. We can disarm them or we can bear hands. See, they don't look like they have any weaponry. So disarming them won't do anything. So we can either do a spinning slash or bear hands. I think spinning slash would probably I be the best do option. do a spinning slash. 16. Nice. Good enough. You spin around using your axe to slash all six dragonkin at once. They all drop dead in a puddle of blood. Hey, nice. nice one. Don't celebrate yet. You begin to hear the clinking armor of hundreds of dragonkin warriors. The sound grows louder as they grow closer. And this is why I was running. We can take care of them. Running sounds good. <laughs> ah, come on. You can totally take these fuckers down. I just killed six of them. Those were scouts, Chloe. Warriors are four times that hard. Oh. Well, shit. <sighs> Running and living. Yeah, sounds like a plan. You sprint as fast as you can until you come across a fork in the road. Ooh. One path leads into the mouth of a deep, dark cave. The other takes you into a dense, misty forest. Which way do you go? They say, take the road less travel by. And that would make all the difference. M Buck says, not many people take the caves because the forest is in broad daylight. So let's go to the caves. Maybe the dragonkin won't follow us into the caves. Let's go there. I guess I don't have a better plan. You plunge into the darkness. The uneven, rocky terrain beneath your feet makes it difficult to navigate. You come around a corner to find a cube of bright green goo sitting in your path. Dead rats float around inside it, slowly dissolving. Of course. It's a gelatinous polyhedron. Okay. You fall into it. Ah! Seriously? It starts to burn your skin. A little at first, but the pain only grows the longer you stay stuck. I cast Scorching Scythe. 
Your flame-made scythe slices the gelatinous polyhedron in half, freeing your companion. Nice. <laughs> but right before your very eyes, the two halves grow and shift until you're face to jelly with two full gelatinous polyhedra. Damn. Your move. Okay, so we can astral axe or striking smash. See, doing the axe again would just slice it. So smashing may dissolve it. So let's go, Wendy. Uh, striking smash. I'm going to smash the shit out of them. You bring the flat of your axe down over the polyhedra, smashing them each into three little globs. <laughs> but yet again, the chunks of jelly grow and shift until you're looking at a small army of six gelatinous polyhedra. Where the hell is she Where pulling these globs these? from? <laughs> exactly. A good game master is always prepared. <laughs> the polyhedra engulf you, burning any exposed skin and searing your clothes. Take 12 damage. Ah. I cast Ring of Fire. You send out a burst of fire, exploding the polyhedra into hundreds of tiny pieces. That's not good. Temper tantrum or rage roll? Temper tantrum. I use temper tantrum. I, I stomp on all the little pieces and grind them into the rock like, like cigarette butts. It's super effective. Your attack managed to split the jelly into thousands of tiny globs. Uh. I feel like we should run. Run screaming. Luckily, gelatinous polyhedra have a very low movement speed. The party flees safely, but the polyhedra aren't far behind. You're near the exit of the caves when you run across... Oh shit, is that me? You're gonna play? Hell yeah. Yeah, little brother. Pavel. The arrogant gnome bard joins your party. How? <laughs> arrogant? <laughs> arrogant? You're not used to words that big, are you? Damn. Burn. Big talk, a little body. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? There's probably a squirrel somewhere that you could fight. I don't need <laughs> violence to solve my problems. I just need the power of music. This is awesome. Fine, Let's see where this but goes. don't slow us down. In the time you've been chatting, the army of gelatinous polyhedra has caught up to you. Several spew acid directly at Elamon. What do you do? Okay, so we can either shield him with my body or shield him with my bard. Uh, let's go body. <laughs> I, I heroically jump in front of Elamon using my axe to block each attack. You block almost every attack, but one makes it through. Take six damage. Hey, thanks. Do you have to be the hero? That's just selfish. The army is still advancing. What do you do next? Um, run or triple the bard and run? Um, triple the bard and run? I trip the bard and run. What? Hey! You stick your foot out. He tries, but Pavel's little legs aren't long enough for him to dodge you. He falls the whole three feet to the ground in slow motion. As your allies escape, the acidic polyhedra creep over your fallen body. Oh, I feel bad. The acid burns like hell as it slowly dissolves your tiny gnomish body. His cries of agony pitch to a dissonant C sharp, follow you as you flee. This game is dark. You burst forth into the majestic meadow, horizon to horizon. All you can see is lush green fields full of birds, flowers, and dragon kin. Oh, what? Damn. Instead of chasing you, they circle around to set a trap, and you just walked right into it. As the dragon can ahead prepare to attack, the army of gelatinous polyhedra arrive behind you. Man, what <sighs> happened to the road less traveled by? Screwed. 
Ugh. Come on, Elamon. I'm sure you've got some sweet spell that'll save us. Uh, I do have Searing Crystal. Perfect! That could freeze Searing them. Crystal, these fuckers! You don't get it. This isn't just another battle spell. This crystal is like... Like dropping a nuke. It'll kill everything. Including you and me. Actually, you did grab Durgron's Bracer of Fire Immunity. Whoever wears it would survive. See? Problem solved. <sighs> but there's only one bracer. Yeah, but I've died before. Die vigilantly together or sacrifice me. You know what, guys? We're going to leave it at a cliffhanger for what's going to happen here. And then we're going to continue it tomorrow. I'm sorry. <laughs> but if, if I do this now, this is going to extend the episode way past the 20 minute mark. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you guys next time to reveal which option I'm going to take. Bye.